I'm going to be honest with you, the sound is not going to be great because empty room, no furniture, bedroom chronicles. Okay, I just got my weave put back in. When I tell people that I've been moving in two years and 11 months after purchasing my house, I am moving in exactly on the dot, two years, 11 months. It's the same, it's the pity eyes. Like, aw, the train has wrecked so many times for you that the train eventually lost all the wheels, they disassembled the track and they let the train conductor stop working. They let him retire. Your train is no longer running. And that means your train can no longer get wrecked. But for me personally, my train no longer getting into a train wreck means that I am like currently in and starting the process of moving into my house. You can tell this is my bedroom. I have gotten really far. <sighs> okay, enough about me. How are you all doing? I would call the stage we're at right now the 95% done stage. And honestly, I hope I stay at the 95% done stage for the rest of my life because I love having all of these boys here. You know if Mike does it, it's gonna be perfecto. My heart is going to break into two because they have to go, they have to go work on other girls' houses. They have to go work on other people's houses and I have to move in to my house. But this moving experience is vastly different than any of my other plethora of moving experiences because all of my stuff is already here. <laughs> this is where things start to mean business. This is gonna be quite the task if I've ever seen one. I think, I think the first thing that I wanna attempt is bringing, see this white thing? That's a piece of a couch. I wanna bring the piece of the couch inside to measure how many pieces of the couch that I have and if the couch will even fit where I want it to go, you know? Like we have to space things out a little. How I'm gonna get this couch in here? That is a question for a very smart person. I'm gonna need full access. Oh, perfect. I have this little thing. I'm just gonna have to move some things around. Okay. So far, so good. It only felt right to have my couch be the first ever piece of furniture in my house because this couch is my pride and joy. Okay, this couch is a world traveler. She's experienced, she is well versed. She is a gift from Ryland and Shane, which is how you know it's probably the nicest thing that I'll ever own. I cherish her like my firstborn. Is this a head? <laughs> this works out here. <laughs> they get heavier. Okay. I'll oh. oh, it's not that bad. <laughs> the power and the beauty in being a girl is that I could move this entire couch inside confidently and successfully all all while wearing my platform Uggs. It's significantly easier when men happen to be standing there. One thing that I've learned from being a serial mover is that you truly, you can truly move anything you want to. You just gotta put your heart and your soul and your back into it. And now that I have a few clothing pieces here, I can break out a new outfit multiple times a day, which is great. What I am looking for is the last piece to the bed frame 
And what is tricky is things can literally be anywhere. Most of the time, they're hiding in plain sight, but we don't always know where plain sight is. If I were a bed frame, where would I be? Okay. Oh my god. I got it. Come on, everyone. We got it. All the pieces to one bed here. Oh my gosh. Lucas has been hand sawing in the beautiful door handles all day. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Look at the beautiful door handles. I am getting this couch together today. It's the last thing I do with my young life. do this a lot more organized but now I realize everything that I want from inside of my barn I'm gonna take inside to see where it should potentially could potentially would potentially go oh, this is so exciting it's like Christmas it's like all of my things that I've ever purchased in my life I can now see with my own two eyes you know because sometimes I'm like what did I spend all my money on and now I'm like oh I have things I have things I'm gonna roll it in with half of the wrap still on it. If Taylor doesn't drop her new album, I'm gonna drop! This thing right here has made it to four different places that I've lived. And I dare I say this is its final destination. Welcome to my bathroom. I got this super cute rug at Costco. And I thought it could warm this place up, of this bathroom up a little bit. Look how cute! I don't know if it's supposed to be in a bathroom, but I'm putting it in the bathroom. Ooh. The more years that I add on to my life, the more that I realize that Costco is the place to be. My aunt let me be on her membership. Greatest gift anyone's ever given me. My best friend. Growing up, her name was Maddie Miller, and her mom always had this bench, like this fluffy bench, like I don't know, what, like an ottoman. She had an ottoman in her bathroom, and ever since I was in the sixth grade, I was like, this bitch knows what's up. And ever since Mama Miller had an ottoman in her bathroom, I've wanted an ottoman in my bathroom, so. You know, you see what I'm talking about? Friend A getting ready here, friend B getting ready here. You're sitting right here like, wow, what, what am I gonna wear tonight? I can already feel your judgment about my need to vacuum everything that comes in here, but one, my things were literally, literally raised in a barn. Two, you would not believe the amount of dust that you get from just one run through, one, okay? You need someone to vacuum your furniture, you know who to call. Look at that technique, look at that precision. Dust bunnies, no chance of making it to Easter, not around here. I love a vacuum, I love it. Oh my gosh, sorry, I think I forgot about you, but at least I left you to watch Dance Moms. Sorry. We brought Cookie over in a pet carrier that we borrowed from Grandma so she can come see the house that I've spent three years building just for her. See, the best thing about Cookie is I that want cookie. everyone that gets Cookie at their house then wants to keep Cookie at their house. Oh, and she's oh, never been here. Oh, 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 she's off. I told you, she's oh. gonna destroy those stair rails. Cookie? Oh, oh, she says I gotta go get my room. <laughs> Cookie, what's going on? Oh, oh she's on the run. Cookie. Yeah, this is our room. Very nice, very nice. There's another room, do you want to see? Oh yeah, give yourself a tour. She's gonna see every room. That's the laundry room. That's the other room. 
Uh huh. <laughs> it's a self guided tour, okay? She's not interested in this room. <laughs> I think that the house is cookie approved. What do you think? What do you think? Hey. Do you like it? I only spent three years doing this just for you. <laughs> Is it grandma approved? Yes. In action. No, of course I'm not the type of person that lets my cat on the island. Is it mom approved? Oh gosh, hold on. Can you do that? Again? Well, look at dad. We can tell that it's dad approved. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> well, I got my COVID exhaustion still, so it feels so great just to sit here. <laughs> yeah, he had COVID last week. I totally approve. He survived COVID two times. Okay, don't fall. Oh, cookie, yeah, cookie, go backwards. Oh, <laughs> Hey. My first couch sit. Mm -hmm. How does it feel? It feels good. <laughs> <laughs> it's a love sack, baby. I love just think that lady you bought it from wouldn't even believe it. Do you think she would be happy? Yeah, it's beautiful. How? Who wouldn't be? <laughs> <laughs> I think she's satisfied. <laughs> yeah, get it, girl. Get it. Get that neck scratch, oh yeah. Saturday night, I'm convinced. I'm convinced that I can build this bed by myself. I don't know exactly what my plan of action is. I just know that I'd love to have a bed to sleep on until I figure it out. So I think that I've watched enough building in the past few years of my life that I can figure out how to do, I can figure out how to do all this stuff. I would love to not scratch the floor. It's so freaking snowy outside that we can consider this our snow day activity. Okay, nice. My dilemma is in my collection of life things in my barn, I have a queen mattress and a king mattress. I have my queen bed frame that I got for my apartment because my room in my apartment, I only wanted to bring the queen bed. But in my real room here, I would like to use my king mattress, you know, but I don't have a bed frame for my king mattress, but I really like this bed frame. Do I want a place to sleep? Yes. So we're just gonna put it together and see how that goes. Cause I was getting real in my head about all these things. And then I was like, you know what? It doesn't have to be perfect anytime soon or ever. So I'm just gonna start using what I have and then we'll see where we, we'll see what we get with that. I don't have any of the instructions, but I have a screw, four pieces, a drill, and a dream. We are skilled. Get my feet out of there. We are skilled and we are capable and we can do this. You just have to think a little bit. I might be overly confident, but this is easy peasy. It's 601. I bet we could have this shit done by 610. We are just girls and we Oh, nine. Okay. That went way smoother than I thought. Here we go. Oh my gosh. I don't want to get my makeup all over it. Oh, I thought that would be easy. And it was kind of, it wasn't hard, but it definitely wasn't easy. Voila, there is a bed. Okay, on the count of three, we are back in action. This might be the most action I've ever seen. I'm gonna start, I got overly excited and overly ambitious today and I was like, I just need to get a few little things. What I'm telling myself, the rules of moving. One, there are boundaries. Two, there are rules. Okay, we are not gonna go crazy. Nothing can enter the door until there is a place for it to go. I didn't have it in me to make the lady at the store wrap all these things, so I just put them all 
free balling. I've made the executive decision that I officially like red and I officially like brown. And I don't think I've ever decorated an apartment or anywhere that I've lived with red or brown. I've always gone for like the neon pink. Should I base my entire home decor scheme off of one candle? No, but, but look how nice it looks in here. See? For this little area right here. Ooh, ooh. Um, in the store, it looked way more red and in person. It's looking way more orange. Well, we're doing good so far. First thing I bought, I already hate. I can't believe how nice these are. Actual little slabs of marble, and they were only $12.99 each. And I thought perhaps, perhaps a bathroom, perhaps a bathroom or two needs some of these. This one's a little darker. This one's a little lighter. They're like real stone. Okay, world market with a real stone. Same thing. These little containers, I was thinking with the bathroom, you know, you could put some cotton balls in it, you could put Q-tips in it. I don't use Q-tips because my ears are way too small and they'll give me an ear infection and make my eardrum explode, but, you know, I'll find something. See, I have one at my mom and dad's house. I have a little thing next to their sink to put your rings in when you wash your hands. I thought I could get a little ring thing. This is gonna make me sick too, but I bought this one for Lucas because look, I'll, if I was getting all these stone things, I was like, look at this dark manly one, okay? Oh, I went to Target. Did you know Colorado is part of one of the states now that charges you for bags? Yeah, that just about pissed me off. I am just desperate to get some life in here, okay? And I thought that was pretty cute. Maybe, maybe not. Mm. Isn't it crazy that when you're in the store, you're having so much fun and then you get home and take all these things out and you're like, I actually hate everything that I bought. Soap, soap for each bathroom so people can officially wash their hands. I thought that would be a nice, a nice little feature that I could offer the crowd. I'm really the hostess with the mostess, you guys. Like I have even a towel, a towel that you could wipe your hands with. I got a green one, I got a white one. I have to tell you that I was really not smart when I moved out of my apartment in LA because I gave pretty much everything. Like all of these types of things, bowls and dishes and measuring sticks and whatnot. I just gave them all away on Facebook Marketplace and now three years later I have to buy all new things, which is honestly fine, but I got sucked into all these little stupid things. Look at these measuring cups with these little wood handles. Did I need these? Yes, I did. You know what? I stand behind this one. I stand behind this one. Oh, I did not need this. <laughs> okay. I was having way too good of a time. These are little itty bitty berry bowls. They're like little mini strainers so you could wash your berries in the bowl. I'm a big berry girl. You think that I won't use these? I'm going to. I promise I'm going to. Oh my God, and these go with the stupid measuring cups. At least I'm being cohesive. These little measuring sticks go with the little measuring cup. You might think, Morgan, that was an outrageous thing to buy. It was only $8.99. $8.99. Tell me that wasn't worth $8.99, you can't. I also got the paper towel roll that matches, but like I said, I am just doing, I am thinking of other people. I want people to be able to wash their hands and dry them and see, I could use this right now. I have a roll of paper towels stacked and ready to go, boom. That is a damn good looking roll of paper towels if I've ever seen one. Salt and pepper shaker. I think that there's so much white going on right here that we need to warm some things up. To defrost the color, we gotta break it up. Oh, oh no! Oh shoot. Sorry my good loves, you just fell off a cliff. Hope you don't have motion sickness problems. Back to the hall. Soap, soap, more soap. Everyone in the household's gonna have clean little hands. I was already out and about, so a towel for if and when I may need it. Another towel for if and when I may need it. There is one last thing that I bought. Oh my god, look at me. I'm like Kelsey Ballerini minus the divorce. Just so you don't get your dirty little feet all over the place. Oh, so cute. Okay, I'm a single housewife of the suburbs. No one and I mean no one can take away me being a single housewife for the suburbs. Gorgeous. We're gonna liven this place up. Gorgeous. What do I say? I've said this every single year for the past 
five years that life always gets better in March. Every single year I see the light at the end of the train tunnel that I'm like, oh, thank God, thank God. I am an active participant in the comment section, okay? I know the two biggest, the two biggest bones that people have to pick with me is that one, I never finish anything, which suck on this popsicle Joe. Two, people say, that I move like every other day. And to, to that I say, coming to defend myself, if you're new or you just want a little refresher on why I've turned into a literal crazy mad woman over the past two and a half years, I have really not moved that many times, okay? If we look at a map, if we look at a timeline, if we look at the diagram, I very much have really only moved twice. Once was out of an apartment into my parents' house, once was out of my parents' house into an apartment, once was out of my apartment back to my parents' house, and now it's out of my parents' house to here. The whole point of me getting this house three years ago, I was like, I dream of a life of infinite stability where I don't have to pay to park at Target in LA. Did I know? Did I know? No, I did not. But you know what? The past is the past, the present is the present. We don't have to think about the past anymore because now we are living in the present, going to the future. Why didn't Yale accept me? I don't know, that was profound. That was pro father fucking found. That was about as profound as a live, laugh, love sign at Home Goods, but live your dream, girl. Anyway, I'm starting the process of moving in and I swear that this is the last time I'm moving ever again in my entire life, so. To all the hater McSkaters that hate that I move all the time, this is my last one. This is your last opportunity to hate on me for moving every single year because I'm never moving again. Like I said, you're gonna have to pull my cold, dead, 99-year-old body out of here. I'm never moving here again, so make yourselves at home, everyone. This is where we live now. So in conclusion, did I get very far in my first weekend of moving? No, no I did not at all. This was probably the least progressive moving video that you've ever watched. However, I never thought this would actually happen, okay? It was always just a theory in my head and a story that never felt like mine. And I don't really know yet what life looks like here. I know what destruction looks like here. I know what chaos looks like here. I know what patience looks like here. I've just never actually lived a normal life here. Um, what I do know, I know that this is my first and only week that I will live here by myself. I know that I'm going to miss my grandma terribly. I'm about to sleep here for the first time and I'm going to miss my grandma terribly. I know that I'm afraid for what happens once the chaos is over. I'm taking things slow. I'm embracing every moment of what feels like a dream that would never be mine and what feels like a Barbie house that is too perfect for my destruction. I'm just soaking it all in, okay? Anyway, it's March and I hope that you remember. Message from me forever and always, life always gets better in March. And I love you so much. Okay, I'll see you soon. Sooner than normal because maybe my life won't be so chaotic. <laughs> I don't know, probably it will be, I don't know.